Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. So this is the end of the day again, but I have a few things I want to talk about and I just figured I would talk about it now and then throw this clip at the beginning of my what I ate in a day. I'll do the talky wrap up before and then you can see what I ate afterwards. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, and it's been a couple days now, and I didn't want it to go any further without saying thank you to everyone. On Monday when I posted the video about how my Mother's Day went and about grieving the loss of my mom and how hard it was on Mother's Day, how hard it is every Mother's Day, so many of you shared your stories with me and all of us. You shared about losing your mom, the fear of losing your mom, or losing a loved one. And I want you all to know that I appreciate your willingness to share those stories with me. I'm going to try not to cry again. I know it's not easy sharing things like that, sharing your pain. And it's especially hard sharing your stories of grief and pain to strangers. So I want you all to know that I appreciate you. And I respect you for being able to open up and share those personal stories to let me know that I'm not alone and to let everybody else who shared so we all know that we're not alone in this struggle and this difficult thing that we face every day of not having our moms with us. I know that not everyone was blessed to have an amazing relationship with their moms or some of us had a really great relationship with our mom and a really bad relationship with our dad like I did. I had probably the worst dad in the whole entire world. Well, I can't say the worst dad, but next to the worst dad in the whole entire world. And I know that some of us, it's just the opposite. You had awesome fathers and not great mothers, or maybe you just didn't have either parent that was that wonderful. And I'm so sorry for that. My mom was my best friend. And I cannot imagine not being blessed with a relationship like that. Even though I only had her for 34 years, I think that in those 34 years, I was blessed with so many good memories. And I was able to cram a lifetime of memories and love into those 34 years and I am very very blessed to have had her in my life and sometimes you really don't know the lessons that you're taught until later in life and that is so true about my mom my mom taught me so much when she was alive, I was very, as immature and as messed up as my life is now, messy as I am, I was very, very immature back then and very lost. Um, I wish I would have made videos back then, so people could see the difference in me from back then. I was a totally different person back then. I had zero self-confidence. I couldn't have made a video. I know I just said I wish I would have made videos back then, but I wouldn't have had the confidence to record myself and put it on the internet and know that I'm opening myself up to to criticism and ridicule and the other negativity that you have to deal with. But in these eight, almost nine years since my mom passed away, I have learned so much and remembered so much of what she's taught me. And I am so blessed to have had her in my life. Long, short story long. Um, so I want to thank you all that shared with me. I didn't get to respond to all of your comments, but I did read them all. 
I read them all last night and I appreciate them so very much. They mean the world to me, knowing that there are people who are willing to share their personal stories with me and it makes me feel less alone and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So let me just do a little recap of the day for you guys and that's going to include my food. My breakfast was amazing. I tried, I uploaded the video just a little while ago, which will be last night for you guys, of the new food that I tried from Schwann's. It is, it comes in a little pouch and it is steel cut oats, quin red quinoa and flax seeds. And you put it in the microwave for two minutes, stir it, put it in for another minute and you have your bowl of oatmeal. It's 230 calories for a serving, and it is delicious. It is the creamiest, most delicious thing I have ever eaten. It also has cinnamon in it, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you'll see how I, what I added to it in the video when you see the clip. Um, but that was amazing, and I loved it. And I might have another bowl of it tomorrow morning, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have oatmeal that many mornings in a row. But I cannot wait until I have another one because it was definitely delicious. So then my therapy appointment happened. And at my therapy appointment, we talked a lot about this stage in my diet or my food plan or my healthy eating plan, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the point of when I start doing really well that I start getting impatient. And I have gotten stuck in the mindset of I've dieted now for over a week and I haven't seen any changes in myself. I'm a very impatient person and if I don't see a ton of changes right away, I get discouraged. And that's usually my big downfall because I get discouraged and I figure it's not gonna work and then I start binging. So we talked in my therapy appointment about my unreal, unreal expectations of myself. Like I said, I expect to see a 50 pound weight loss in less than a month. I expect to see the pounds just melting off of me within weeks. And I know realistically, that's not going to be the case. Um, when I was doing the obesity code, the kind of keto-ish thing, I was losing weight very quickly. And I am completely behind those eating plans. The obesity code, I am still 100% for it. But for me, right now, dealing with my eating disorder, it's not right for me. And even though I did lose weight very quickly, I gained it back very quickly when I stopped eating like that, when I went back to my old patterns. So the food plan that I'm on now is a sane plan, it's a healthy plan, but it's a slower weight loss of a plan. And I know that weight loss is important for me because I know I need surgery. But it's more important for me to lose the weight and keep it off rather than losing 30 pounds and then gaining it all back. Because doing that, I'm just keep going, I'm backsliding and I'm not making any progress. This way, if I do it sanely, slowly, and I am consistent in my eating, I'll get to where I need to be a lot faster than if I keep failing at all these other kinds of eating plans. As much as I am for them, they're just not for me. So I have to be patient. Um, Part of my addictive personality is instant gratification. I want to see results. I want them now. I don't want to wait. And I sabotage myself that way. If I would have just, this is the way I started out eating almost a year ago. If I would have stuck with this for the year, I would have been so much further ahead rather than keep bouncing around, keep getting discouraged, keep giving up, and going back to my old ways of eating. Um, I'm very proud of myself that even though I do feel discouraged, I, I'm not going to lie, I do feel very discouraged and 
because I'm not I haven't seen these results these unrealistic results that I'm wanting in my head and <clears throat> excuse me and the unrealistic results that a lot of people think that I should be having I know a lot of people are saying not just about me but a lot of people you should be losing X amount of weight because of your size and that is what my brain thinks too so it's nothing new to me when I hear people say that because that's what my head wants I think shows like my 600 pound life and shows in like that give other people the unrealistic expectation that they're going to be able to achieve the same thing but what people don't realize is those people that are on that show are under very close medical supervision to be on a food plan that is that drastically cut. And I am just not willing to do that. I'm sure I could probably write to doctor now and I could maybe find a doctor who would put me on that kind of a plan. But the thing is, even if I lost a ton of weight, had my surgery that I needed, then after the surgery, am I going to gain all that weight back? Am I going to want to still be committed to eating that way? What happens when I go back to eating normally? That show, my 600 pound life, those people eat those low calories, then they have weight loss surgery. So they're still eating a restricted diet which is very low, usually very low in calories. And they will never, if they continue on that plan, they will never go back to eating a full meal, a full calorie load like people who do not have weight loss surgery eat. I am not having weight loss surgery, so it's unrealistic for me to expect results like that when I'm not going to be having that. That's just not my path. So, I'm trying not to sabotage myself. I am very proud. I have not binged in two, over two weeks now. I have been on my plan for over a week now of what my dietitian recommended. Um, I'm very satisfied with the foods that I'm eating. There is a channel I found here on YouTube that I am adoring watching and I am binge watching their channel. It's a husband and wife and they have both lost 130 pounds. And the channel's name is Nicole Colette. And I will leave a link to their channel below. They have amazing weight loss tips. She is so full of energy and so cool. I simply adore her. And I've gotten so many tips of things I want to make of how they lost their weight. They do it simply. They show you exactly what they've eaten, how they meal prep. It's just amazing and if you haven't checked their channel out you definitely should I am adoring their channel so most of my my therapy session today had to do with my eating disorder and talking about that so I feel a little bit more relaxed I do feel discouraged still but I'm trying to focus on the long term rather than instant gratification um, Part of me knows that it's day by day, I have to take it one meal by one meal, but then the other part of me knows that in the long term, doing what I need to do one day at a time, one meal at a time, in the long term, I'm going to get to where I'm going. Even if you don't see results within a week or a month, the results will be happening because it's going to take a while for me to get to the place where I start feeling a difference because it's not going to come off like that. So, I feel good about my therapy appointment today. A lot of times I come home and I feel like crappy and like crying, but I feel really encouraged. And it's getting darker. I'm trying to wrap this up before it gets too dark. Um, so my lunch, we stopped at Subway on the way home and I got a half of a sub, a six inch. You'll see that in the video as well. And my dinner was a snacky dinner and I felt very good about that. I feel that even though my calories were a little bit on the lower side today, I feel satisfied with what I ate and I feel good about today. All right guys, stay tuned for the next clip and you'll see everything that I ate today. Talk to you guys later. Bye everyone. 
All right, good morning, guys. So it is just before 7 a.m., and I'm going to have my coffee and my water to start the day. I just woke up, literally. <laughs> so what I have is my 12 ounces of coffee with about a quarter of a cup of French vanilla sugar-free creamer. I did not measure it this morning. Um, just being honest with you guys. And this goes to someone, I know I had a couple comments about, I had bought another one of these when I already had one. I bought two close together. This is my first one that I am just now finishing. There's just a tiny little bit left in there, so I'll probably finish that. But I'm just now finishing the first one. So now I have a whole new one ready in my fridge for tomorrow so I don't run out. That's why I bought another one to have as backup. So, and then my 32 ounces of water, of course. So a couple people have also asked about this, the coldest water bottle. It was quite expensive, and I will tell you to save your money because it's not that great. Um, I've had other water jugs, insulated ones that have lasted just as long. The ice, you, you're supposed to, it says for best results fill it completely full of ice it lasts about 13 hours the ice does but I've had other insulated bottles that the ice has lasted that long the water does stay ice cold for over 24 hours I've tested it but the ice does not remain in it for 24 full hours I mean it's probably not guaranteed that the ice would last but it does remain cold for over 24 hours but for the price I would just recommend getting a cheaper one because I've had a cheaper one and it's lasted just as well. So that's just my take on it. Plus, the bottle doesn't come with a sip thing, so you have to buy the sip top lid container straw thing separately. So it was astronomical price and if I could turn back and not do it, I wouldn't. But I've seen a lot of people using them, and I thought it would be cool to have one, but it's not that cool. <laughs> so, there's my little review on that. Alright, I'm going to go drink my coffee and my water and upload my video and wake up. Alright, and it's time for me to make my breakfast, and I have in the microwave right now my steel cut oatmeal red quinoa flaxseed breakfast frozen breakfast that i got from schwann's you put it in for two minutes take it out stir it and put it in for an additional minute and then that is all you do with that all right there it is out of the microwave it smells really good I can smell the cinnamon. Kitty cat, get back. Alright, I'm just going to top this with a cup of... I don't know where you guys are at. A cup of the Schwann's frozen strawberries, which is 50 calories for one cup. I can already smell the strawberries. They smell divine. Right, there is my one cup of strawberries over my oatmeal and quinoa. Alright, now I'm going to top it with a tablespoon of my fresh maple syrup from my cousin. I'm just going to drizzle it right over top, like that. Alright, there is my breakfast. It is now 8.45 a.m. I'm going to have this with another 32 ounces of water because I did finish my entire 32 ounces of water 
I'm still sipping on my coffee though, so I'm gonna have this with my water for my first meal. It's two o'clock and it's time for my lunch. I just got done with my therapy appointment and I stopped at Subway on the way home and picked up a sub. This is a six inch. It's a Chipotle steak. That's my very favorite. And it's crammed full of all the veggies, no cheese, and Chipotle sauce. So that's what's on my sandwich. That's what I'm eating and as well as a Coke Zero. So that's what's for lunch. And I will see you back for dinner. All right, so here's my dinner. I am the one who just got done preaching the importance of eating before 8 p.m. And my dietitian is very adamant that I eat before 8 p.m. But I'm being honest with you guys, it is now 8.40 p.m. and I'm just now gonna eat. So for that reason, I'm going to have my very favorite go-to quick snacky meal. I love this kind of a meal. I know it's probably not the best meal for me, but it's, my light is blinking. We're in the twilight zone, guys. Just bear with me. Please stop, Mr. Light. And Mr. Light did not want to stop. So, okay, so here's what I'm having. And you're probably going to see this quite a bit in my in my I turned the light off. I can't deal with that. Um, so here's what I'm having. You guys have seen this quite a few times for me, and you will probably continue seeing this quite a few times for me. Um, this is one of my favorites, and I find that this is very satisfying to me. A lot of times, even when I make a bigger meal, like if I have chicken and vegetables and stuff like that, it's not satisfying to me, but this is extremely satisfying. So, Here's what I'm having. Oh, I know there's a glow. Oh my gosh. Guys. All right. Oh, the lighting situation. So, there's two small golden delicious apples, 17 slices of turkey pepperoni, two ounces of Colby Jack cheese, and a serving, which is an ounce a quarter of a cup of mixed nuts. Like I said, I do realize that this is not the healthiest thing to have, but it fits into my calories, it fits into my all my stats, and I consider it fairly healthy, a fairly rounded, I have my protein, um, my, the only thing I don't have is a vegetable. But I have my fruit, my proteins, my nuts, turkey pepperoni. I have the turkey pepperoni. I figured I better eat it because I have this leftover of when I was made the Hungry Girl pizza fried chicken breast cutlet thing. So that's my dinner for the evening. That was my day of eating. I was very satisfied with everything I had today. Um, like I said, a lot. I know that there is an importance of eating vegetables, and I do love vegetables. I love my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts, cauliflower. I love all that stuff. But sometimes I'm just more satisfied with this, and as long as it's working for me, I'm okay with that. So that wraps up the day of eating. You heard me ramble before this part. So thank you for watching what I ate today. 
and I will see you back again tomorrow with another what I ate video and in a couple days I will be having my ipsy I'm going to be getting my ipsy I'm still waiting for my ipsy plus that's what I'm waiting for I got my regular ipsy I have not opened it I will prove it to you guys still sealed I can't I guess I can show you this still completely sealed have not opened it so I'm just waiting on my ipsy plus so I can do ipsy plus versus ipsy and we'll do that when it comes I'll show you that and I think I'm gonna be getting my Walmart beauty box this month for my the spring edition I think I'm not sure okay okay I will see you guys again tomorrow for the next video Bye, everyone.